the eye light is a pretty unique device, yeah? It combines uh, two forms of therapy for treating dry eye. In the past, there has only been maybe one form of, of treatment, and that's IPL on its own, yeah? Which is an intense pulse light. So it's a thermal reaction. It's quite hot, and you, you, know, you use it on the skin just below the eye to help soften the meibomian glands and help them to express a little bit better. But with this device, you have the added function of using low-level light technology. It's a series of LEDs. The patient wears the mask for 15 minutes post-IPL treatment. So we do both. We do a combination of IPL and low-level light therapy. The IPL is just five shots on the lower part of the eye and then the mask afterwards for 15 minutes. The advantage of the mask really is that it's treating the upper lids and the lower lids simultaneously. Whereas when you're doing IPL on its own, you're really only treating the, the lower lid, which is only half of the problem when you're talking about meibomian gland dysfunction and dry eye. So with this device, we're going to be treating dry eye today. Yeah? And it's a two-step process when we're treating dry eye. We treat the patient, first of all, with an IPL treatment and then secondly with low level light therapy. That's a fairly quick process where we're applying some thermal shot around the patient's lower lid and that's having an effect on the glands in the lower lid. You need to wear protective goggles, both the patient and the user. Treating the lower lids on its own is, is not enough. You really need to be treating the upper lid as well. And in this case, to be able to treat the upper lid, we use what we call low level light therapy. And to do that, we apply a face mask for the patient. So when we deliver low level light therapy, we use uh, this white mask with a series of red LEDs and you can see from where the red LEDs are positioned that they're right over the lid. So the patient in this case will be, will recline the chair, the patient will be in a, a nice relaxed position and there'll be an intensity of heat felt by the patient but it won't be delivered from the mask, it'll be delivered from an internal heat reaction of the patient's cells to the actual wavelength of light that we're putting onto the skin. So unlike IPL which is a hot thermal flash, this is actually heat that's generated from within the patient's own cells. So it's, it's a, a treatment from within. We call it an endogenous heat reaction, yeah? So I'll just put this mask on Danny here. We'll recline the chair to about 45 degrees just to make sure that the patient is in a comfortable position. And then we start a treatment. It's pretty simple. We choose the severity of meibomian gland dysfunction that the patient has. So it's normally graded on a scale of one to four, which is a high pulse scale. And we normally get that information by doing um, my, my biography, which is imaging of the meibomian glands. So we'd say in this case, Danny is a grade one, so not very severe dry eye. We select grade one, we select light modulation, which is low level light therapy. And then we just click enter. And you can see from the mask when I start the, the procedure, the light in the mask will intensify. So it'll become a very bright red. You can see there. And the patient just relaxes there for 15 minutes wearing this mask. And it's almost like you're lying on a beach, lovely sunny day, that feeling you get with a nice warm, warm sun on your face. We normally recommend four treatments about a week apart to treat the symptoms of, of my bone gland dysfunction. And after that, then we, we recommend maybe one top up every year, depending on the severity of their condition. But hopefully at that stage, the patient will be getting relief and uh, we'll have seen that the treatment has worked. We can basically train anybody to use the device, but when you're using IPL in conjunction with low-level light therapy, it really needs to be the optometrist that's, that's trained to do this. In conjunction with the manufacturer, we, we have a full training suite that they need to complete in order to be proficient in the use of the device, and we provide certificates at the end of that. But you can also use the light mask on its own, and anybody can use that, so long as there's a, a qualified optometrist as well on, on a, you know, within the practice at that time. I think in the past, practices will be used to prescribing some form of drops for the patient, yeah, but it's really only masking this, the real root cause of the problem. I think clinicians and, and autonomists will be really excited about being able to treat the root cause of the problem, yeah? And oftentimes with this device, I've seen, I've seen cases where people have had multiple treatments with this device. Beforehand, they were using eye drops every hour of the day, yeah? And you can imagine the discomfort they would have if they weren't using their eye drops. But after treatment with this device, it cuts down on, on having to use the eye drops in, in the future. And in some cases, it, it cuts out having to use them all together. This device can also treat other conditions. There's a blue mask and a yellow mask as well. With the blue mask, we can treat bacterial conditions like Demodex, and we can treat Chalasia and, and styes. With the yellow mask, we treat you know, like symptoms of swelling, so post-blepharoplastic treatments. So the device always stays the same, 
the mass change. So it's multi-purpose in terms of, of uh, its use, but the device is delivering the treatment and the mass just deliver different colors of, of light to treat different conditions.